from this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 on Vista from a USB drive step by step. First, before we start, we want to make our USB drive to be rebootable. And what we need to do is, let's go to my PC. And from here, you can see I have a removable disk F, which is my USB drive. And it's nothing there, and it's ready to go. close it and what I need to do is I need to run my command window from the accessories and right click running as the administrator that will give me full permission to do anything from this PC and what I need to do first I need to tap the disk part and click the enter it show me the basic information about this disk part application and what I need to do next step is tap list disk click in there it show me all the drives I have here from here you can see that disk 1 is actually my USB drive because I know it uh, my USB drive only has a 16 gig so it shows the size from here 15 gig so that I know that's only uh, that's the only USB drive I have for this machine. Okay, what I need to do, I need to select this drive, select this disk. So I need to tap another command called select disk 2, disk 1. Okay, and now the disk 1 is being selected. And what I need to do, I need to clean all the content from this disk. Okay, it shows successful clean. And next step, we need, what I need to do is just make it a little bigger so for you guys to easy to see. And what I need to do is I need to create another partition for this USB drive. I tap the create the partition primary and I click the enter again. Now the primary partition has been created. And I need to I need to select this partition which I just created from here. Partition one, because I only have one partition, so I just put it. Okay, now it show me the partition one is not selected. And what I need to I need to active this partition as well. Okay, once it's selected, you can format this partition in whatever what might you want to do. I'm gonna do it. I want this USB format to be an TFS format so it can be recognized by the PC. Now it's starting to um, format my USB drive and and ready to be moved for the next step. Because uh, it's gonna take like a um, couple minutes because I have 16 gig. So Let's um, probably just wait and uh, move to the next step later. Thank you. Okay, now from here you can see my USB driver has been um, formatted 100%. And actually that means that the USB driver is ready to put all your Windows 7 um, files into this USB driver. And before we start, we need to check which... I'm going to show you how to do it. And we need to check the which driver we are using for our DVD driver. From here, from my machine, you can see the E drive, and I insert my um, copy of my Windows 7 into this DVD driver. It show me the logo of here, and I know, so I can remember this is the E drive. I'm gonna open another window for the command window, and go to the same accessories. A right click, open as the administrator. Okay, from here, what I need to do, I need to go to my E drive, which is my DVD drive, and CD folder boot, and click it in. And I need to see that my boot is not here, probably I need to do it again from CD boot. It's looking for my E drive, DVD driver now. 
Okay, now I'm in the boot now. Boot folder. And what I need to do is I need to type a boot. Sbct. Exe. To my, I need to check which is my USB drive. Uh, which, uh, okay, my USB drive from here you can see is F. So I need to use F from here as well. And click Int. Okay, here we go. We can see we successfully make our. Um, we already successfully made our USB drive as a bootable drive. So Windows, uh, when you try to install it, uh, Windows 7 will automatically put wrong up. And another one will be really straightforward. You just need to do is uh, uh, go to your uh, go to your uh, D drive, copy all the copy your DVD drive, copy all the contents. Okay. We open it, see the open to the and uh, let's select all and copy. Copy everything. Actually, I think I need to do this here. And also I think I need to do this here as well. And what I need to do is just to go to my F drive and paste everything from here. So once it's finished, so I think this USB driver should be ready to go. And what you need to do is you need to go to your um, motherboard setting to make your USB drive as the first party to boot. All right, I probably can show you. How to install this Windows 7 from USB in my next video. Okay, I just finished copying all the stuff, all the files from my DVD E drive and paste it to my um, USB H drive. So I think my USB drive should be ready um, to load up the Windows 7. I'm gonna test it. So I'm gonna plug in to my PC, my USB drive. Here we go. Once you see it's gonna automatically run this setup exe file. I think it, that means it's ready and your USB drive has been built successfully and you definitely can load this the Windows 7 USB flash drive from any laptop or um, desktop. Um, the version I was using from this video was the MSDM beta version. But what you can do is what I found there's a very good deal from uh, Microsoft as well. If you go to the askbargains.com and do a search, Windows 7 and click search button. It gives you some pre-order, the newest version of Windows link. Just click that link and it will let you go to the Microsoft website. You probably just pay the half price as the official price. So it's really good deal. And you definitely uh, once you have this uh, uh, official copy, you can do the exactly same thing. Just um, put everything into your USB drive, and you can carry it to anywhere. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it, the deal is still there, so you guys can take a look. All right, thank you very much.